Hello folks, this is Key doing Army Man Air Land and Sea Part 13. And uh looks like we're stealing a tan boat this time, rather than a tan helicopter. I guess we kinda get to see some naval element. As you can see here, there's a train yard. Uh and what's this? They're gray. And also the buildings are gray gray. What the heck? We're in gray territory, looks like. I guess the gray side of Europe or something, but yeah, it looks looks like we're finally in some gray area. Pardon the pun. So we can finally check out what the heck is going on with the grays. Now, as you can see here, they did they other than the, uh, color texture, they didn't change much. And unfortunately, for this final area here, I mean area. They decided just to do random uh, spawns of cron cron step thing about barbers, you know. Basically, you know, you take a step in the right thing and they trigger up, and this causes problems later on. And I don't understand why they did it. Uh, they made something that was ridiculously easy, a little too complicated, and didn't give the player much choice other than to get hit. Uh, so I am using save states just for in case of that purpose. I shouldn't need it, but I am doing some just in case. Uh, as you can see here, I finally got him triggered somehow. And uh, here's something else. The auto aim is working. Oh my lord. Actual workable auto aim. <laughs> Dang, where have you been? Uh... Well, I can finally shut up about that. <laughs> uh, but my curious question is, what are tans doing in a gray city, and why are there no grays around? Now you can see there's a gray uh, forklift there. Uh, you can see there's gray rail cars and rail railways. There's gray buildings. Uh, but there's no gray people. Uh, leaving the question of what happened to the grays. And if anybody wants to fill me in, that's quite fine. Uh, now, as far as uh, Sarge's Heroes uh, canon goes, the gray are uh, prisoners of war. And also in my Army Man World at War uh, LP, you notice there was a couple of grays that was helping us out. And then you noticed that we were uh, fighting in some ta uh, in some gray cities, and I also noticed some random gray dead along during this LP, as well as a gray statue that's inside a town that we don't know about. So the question is, what is the backstory with the grays? That is, that is one major question here. And uh, like I said, um, due to uh, just curiosity, I might do an LP of Army Man 3D just to figure out what the heck is going on with the grayness. As you can see here, there's more uh, triggers and whatnot. Go ahead and hide out. Uh oh, I'm getting having grenades thrown at me. Might as well run and hide. And we have some bad camera views here. They were trying too hard. Uh, this is sort of Sarge's Heroes' uh, forte here of crazy, sane stuff. Now, you would think I'd be able to shoot through the barbed wire, but I can't. Also, uh, just to see if I can, I'm going to throw a grenade and see if it'll land over it. Uh, if it sticks to the wall, then I'll have to reload my state. But I'm just doing it to see something. And no, you can't. As a solid object. 
again, sort of weird considering some of the wire fencing you could shoot through earlier at, in this LP and in World at War. So, a little weird about why that's happening there. Guess lazy te uh, texture coding or something. Who knows? And there's some more gray forklifts for you. But yeah, I'm, I might do uh, Army Man 3D just to uh, figure out what the heck is going on with the tan. Uh, since Army Man 3D came out before this series, maybe there it could bring on to an op opinion about it. Also, if any uh, people who are watching this want to opine about what the heck is going on with the grays, uh, you can. <coughs> because I'm really kind of curious about it. And uh, we'll see what happens from here. Now, if you want to wait until I finish uh, Final Assault, that's fine too. Uh, I know there's nothing gray related in uh, Team Assault, but I don't. But I never played uh, Final Assault fully, or Army Man Lock and Load. Lock and Load is the same name for Final Assault. So if you want to wait on your answer for that until I LP that, that's fine too. But I was just kind of curious what the heck is going on with the grades. And I'm going to be wondering this as I'm playing this level and this series of levels. And uh, you'll see why. It's pretty blatant and it's pretty obvious why I would be confused. But pretty much it's just like any other Sarge's Heroes line game of you just walk, trigger, shoot the mobs up, walk, trigger, shoot the mobs up, walk, trigger, shoot the mobs up. I think they just kind of ran out of ideas here. Which is kind of fine. They did, they did do a lot of good gameplay elements. And this is like an intro level to it, so it's fine. I can understand it. At least it's not like that uh, rice paddy section before where they, ha where they had the, all of a sudden this ninja run under a helicopter, pick up bazookas, run all the way across the rice paddies again, and then blast it out of the sky. That was a bit ridiculous. And what's sad is that's the second time they've used that bit. The first time they used it was Army Man World at War. Uh, you can watch me doing that on... Uh, Part 3, I think it is, on my other LP. And I will post a video response for those who want, who want to see what I'm talking about there. Uh, but, like I said, just, I don't get it, and... Like, like I said, um... Pretty much is looking like the game is winding down now because it's a little easier than it was in that jungle stage. And I'm going to try to get a good look at the PT boat because it looks a little different than the other ones. You've seen the World at War PT boat. Now you're going to see the uh, uh, Air, Land, and Sea PT boat. Oh, it looks like there's a blue flag there. I don't know what the blue flag's for. Oh no, that's not a blue flag, that's a texture packet issue. <laughs> Caught him la doing lazy coding. For shame. Anyway, now they're just doing some more little silly stupid spawns. Spawns in front of you, spawns behind you. You know, like I said, a little disappointing, but it looks like they're definitely trying to wind the game down. So, uh, n nothing wrong there. No biggie. And we'll go from there. Uh, I would like to, uh, kind of give, give the chance to say thank you to all my supporters out there who 
view it, uh, Mirror Jack for dealing with all my nonsense and uh, uh, just a few people who are just wanting to watch or semi entertain or whatever. Uh, and like I said, I we will continue this line of series of games to the best of my ability. Now, like I said, the Final Assault ones are a little harder, so I will probably be using Save Save Abuse. And uh, once once you see me play, you'll kind of understand why. Uh, just it's kind of a, game, a series that I wasn't too good at, and I'm playing this off keyboard too, so it's a little hard as well that way. I'm sure this game would be like a thousand times easier for people who have a joystick, but I have to use. Uh, just my keyboard. Uh, anyway, like I said, uh, feel free to post in any uh, game requests that you want to do. Uh, unfortunately, the NES stuff is kind of out at the moment. Uh, Sega Genesis, I don't know yet. Uh, SNES, I uh, don't know yet. I'm still trying to get that B17 Atari thing going. I've got, I've got it, and I've got something to run it on, but I can't figure out how to get it to work. So uh, if you guys can bear with me on that one a little longer, I can get that one done. And uh, that's it. Anyway, I'll call it a video here. So Kinky signing out. Thank you.